Hello, my friends. It's good to see you again. Kelly DeHaan here from the Hale Center Theater. So glad to share another voice lesson with you. Our second of three installations about warming up properly. We've talked uh, in the past lesson about how important it is to get the blood flowing and the muscles stretched out in the singing mechanism. Just like if you were going running or about to lift weights, all right? It's important that we stretch out those muscles first. We talked about doing vocal massage, right? The whole face, the sides, even the back, making sure the lips, the mouth, making sure that everything is, is, is warmed up and stretched out and ready to go. We also talked about doing vocal fry. Vocal fry is that bubbling of the epiglottis, uh, right? Just really relaxed, making sure that this whole mechanism is dropped down low, right? We take the whole jaw and open it up, keeping the tongue down. You are so sick of me saying that. Keeping the tip of your tongue connected to your teeth when you're singing a vowel, so important. It also reduces stress. It reduces tension that you would have. We don't want any tension. Remember, nothing through here, no sensation. We want, we want sensation in the articulators, right? The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. We want sensation down in our gut. We don't want anything to happen in the vocal tract itself, all right? All right, we also talked about doing those um, slides on a fifth. One, two, three, four, five. That's called a fifth as we go from one to five and back down. Ooh, or even better, let's go. Ah, three fingers of opening without even trying. That's Kelly DeHaan. Big old mouth. It helps, right? The bigger our mouth, the better our sound. We have to open it up. Ah, 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 sliding is important to stretch out the, the vocal folds. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, picture if you had inflated the balloon, but in, instead of tying it off, you let the air out by squeezing the, the, the end of the balloon, and that's exactly how the vocal folds kind of work. If you if you really stretch them out, right, it gets really high, that annoying sound. And if you just let it go, right, you get that low sound. It's kind of how the vocal cords work. So it's important that we get them lined up. And that as we stretch and we slide, we can kind of picture that. Ah, love it. All right, next we're going to talk about something that we mentioned earlier, but it's called a yawn sigh. Yawn sigh. Remember when we yawned? when we were talking about placement and resonance, we kind of opened up the back of the mouth with that soft palate being raised. We dropped the jaw. Oh, and that's called a yawn sigh. Now I'm up in my falsetto. Men, I want you to sing with me up in your falsetto. Ladies, also uh, uh, clear up there. Oh, up there for you, all right? We're going to just sigh. Each one is going to get higher and then lower. You can hear that my voice goes through those couple of breaks. We call those your passaggio. The passaggi are, um, are places in your voice where your, your retinoids, those, those little cartilages that bring your voice together, right? The retinoids, they either, they can pop into different placements, all right? Um, so it's totally normal to have, we call them break, a break, right? We have a break. Ah, oh, ah, ah. I tried to make it really obvious, right? So you could hear that break. Totally normal. It's harder to sing around those breaks. And so as we yawn sigh, ah, we try to smooth out that break by releasing the pressure. No pressure in here. None, right? Ah, that was pretty good, right? You couldn't even hear my break. Well, unless you're a voice teacher, then you could hear it. Don't send me emails. Um, sing! We can do it on different vowels. Let's do a nice bright vowel. Say! You, 
could hear the brakes that time, all right? So, passaggio, that is a different placement in your voice, and it's totally normal to have those. And those change places as we get older. A lot of my younger students um, in my children's choir, your, your brakes aren't quite as obvious, and they're in different places. Um, but as you mature, they change, and that's why it's important to get a voice teacher or to take choir, take choir, to help you work those out, help, help you figure those out. The key is to use more air and less pressure, right? A lot more air, zero tension. All right, next we're going to talk about vowels. We want the five purest vowels, and those are based on the Latin uh, language. The five pure vowels we have are E, A, A, O, U. And it starts forward and moves its way, its way back. And this exercise is going to be like this. Mi, me, mo, mo, mu. The tip of my tongue is touching my teeth the whole time. Mi, we're going for a tucked in E vowel. Mi, instead of me. That's fine for musical theater sometimes, but we should know how to sing with our best, our best resonance. Not just bright, sometimes nasty resonance. We want warmth. Warmth in the voice first. Always. Me, me. So I'm tucking the sides of my mouth in. Me, instead of me, me. Still good, it's good, but not what we're looking for right now. Me, me. Now we have ma. Ma. Dropping everything, tongue is down. Ma. Mo, mu. I'm kissing through a picket fence. Mu. Let's do some more of those. And let's remember that first lesson where we talked about breath control. I'm going to suck that air in. I'm taking it in right to the back of my mouth. Yeah. I'm not raising this. I have no tension here. Tension is in my gut. Now I'm going to leave my belly extended. I'm going to leave my abs Extend it. Mi, me, ma, mo, mu. And I leave them, I leave it extended, okay? As, as I sing, I kind of leave the tension in the gut. I don't just let it collapse in, okay? Appoggio is what that's called, right? We want to keep that tension there. Look at my shoulders. They're gently rolled back. Jaw is level. Let's go up again. Mi, me, ma, mo, mu. That's a great one. And we just go as high as we, as we need to go. Mi, me, ma, mo, mu. And if you had a little piano app on your phone, you could give yourself the next note. You don't have to be able to play the piano to warm yourself up. Not even close. You don't even have to use that app. You can just kind of start going and warm your voice up. It doesn't matter exactly what note you're on until you're singing with a piano player or with other people. All right, then it matters a lot. Okay, breath support. We talked about this too. A good exercise to do next would be one that really engages our air. Let's do this um, exercise here. We're going to count. Uh, let's do eight sets of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All in one breath. Did you get it? Let's try it again. You can do it. Or rewind the video and do this as many times as you want. Let's go to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Feels so good using that air. I went into surgery once and they have you breathe into this 
mechanism, that, this, this plastic tube that holds this ball inside and you have to keep the ball in the air as long as you can. And he didn't know I was a singer. He's like, I need you to keep this ball in the air so we can test your breath capacity or whatever. And so I'm like, challenge accepted. And so the, the nurse, he starts timing me and I'm breathing into the tube, keeping the ball in the air. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. And he looks up at me, he's like, what instrument do you play? And I'm like, I'm a singer. It's awesome. Um, uh, so breath, breath support can improve as we go. It improves as we go. All right. Now, instead of count singing, let's just hold a law, right? Everything's dropped. Just send your voice out to the cosmos. La. Ready? Nice breath. Ready? La. sing out. So many of us just don't sing out. We get so many that are really good actors or fabulous dancers and they just, they just don't sing out. And going full out is easier than you think. You have to be brave. You have to trust yourself. You have to trust the universe. But just go full out. All right. The last one we want to do today, we're going to have one more set. Next time we're going to have one more set of warm-ups to really get into our, our belt range. We're going to do some that kind of test our dexterity. That's our ability to go quickly on notes. And we're also going to talk a little more about placement. Um, but for today, our last is going to be warming up our articulators. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the articulatory tools. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the articulatory tools. The exercise goes like this. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the articulatory tools. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the articulatory tools. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the articulatory tools. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the articulatory tools. Come on. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the articulatory tools. One of my bosses, Sally Dietline, she is always harping on the actors about diction, about being understood. Right? Volume and diction. She should have a t-shirt made that says volume and diction. Um, she's always harping on us about it. Because if people can't hear you or understand you, get off the stage. We don't care how pretty you are. We don't care how talented you are or what a good dancer you are. Well, we care about those things. But if we can't hear and understand you, that, that's one of the entire senses that is not being used. Plus feeling and emotion that is not being used, right? We want to hear and understand what you're saying. So having crisp, amazing diction is very important. And so, mwah, yeah, warming up the mouth and doing like uh, tongue twisters, like this one. You know New York, unique New York, you know you need unique New York. You know New York, unique New York, you know you need unique New York. Let's try it. You know New York, unique New York, you know you need unique New York. You know New York, unique New York, you know you need unique New York. You know New York, unique New York, you know you need unique New York. One more. You know New York, unique New York, you know you need unique New York. It's a great exercise. And finally, all the actors know this one. It's the ABCs, but the notes are a little different. It goes like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. <sighs> Getting warm? I hope so. So stay tuned for one more session of warming up. And then we're going to talk about the audition, the ins and outs of auditioning, not just at Hale, but all over the place. Stay safe. Keep singing. <laughs>